Thank you for the interest in our Kentucky Snow and Ice program. This video is intended to add tips and some additional operational guidelines. Department of Transportation commercial driving procedures and laws will always take precedence over any training material. Please always resort to your CDL training and Department of Transportation laws first. With your help, we will provide a very valuable and essential service to the motorists of our great state. Safely maintaining open roads is essential to us all in so many ways. Our entire team here at YEC looks forward to working with you for another safe and successful snow season. It. As a snowplow driver, a fresh blanket of snow doesn't exactly sing winter wonderland. Beneath all of its beauty lies a multitude of hidden hazards that could potentially put your life in danger as well as ours. We service approximately 100 contracts throughout the state of Kentucky. We're one of the largest essential service providers throughout the state. Here at YEC, our driver qualifications range from having a valid CDL, a clean driving record, to having proficient experience in plowing with trucks of all sizes. Our drivers are on call from November 1st to April 15th. Getting a good night's rest is always important. Due to COVID-19, all of our orientation and trainings will be virtual. If you feel you need additional training, please contact us as we want you to feel as safe and confident as possible. Here at YEC, we encourage all of our employees to maintain social distancing, wash hands with soap and water, and use hand sanitizer as much as possible. Per state regulations, drivers are restricted from all state garages. This is new to us, along with all the other COVID-19 procedures we're learning and growing as we go. Any employee that feels they need additional in-person training, please contact us. We're more than happy and eager to help. Safety is number one here at YEC. Be alert, watch your weather. Don't let it be a surprise. Everyone does like to enjoy their parties. For example, Super Bowl, Christmas, New Year's. But when it's snowing, we need you. If for some reason you don't have internet, just contact Andreas, she will get you through that. And keep in mind, no cell phone use while driving. When you know it's gonna snow, refresh yourself by watching these videos before you go out and drive. This is an amazing tool, especially made with you all in mind. New drivers must have in-person driving training. We value all of you. When the news is telling you to stay home, we're calling you on the phone and asking you guys to come out and drive in these dangerous conditions. As CDL drivers, y'all know you have a checklist. So walk around your truck, check your tires, all your fluids and everything. Be physically and mentally prepared for the job. Obey all the traffic laws. You got a two-way radio to talk to the state when needed, not to just chit chat. Avoid sudden moves. Be alert to your surroundings because sometimes the trees will hang down, power lines, stop lights with the weight of the snow and ice on them. Keep the fellow drivers informed by using your state radio of road conditions and changing conditions so we can be more prepared in what we're doing. You have a Pacific route you are ordered to stay onto. Do not go to plow a buddy's driveway or a gas station you need to get into to get a soda pop. We've had numerous complaints about that. If you can just please stay on your route for safety where we know at all time where your truck and you are located. We are normally plowing to the right. And when you're plowing to the right, a couple problems you might run into is your corners on the uh, edge, just slow and steady until you know your route for safety. I will keep saying about safety for we're not tearing up equipment or for none of our drivers get hurt. When you approach an overpass with a YEC snowplow, we need you to please slow down for you can uh, have control of not throwing the snow over the bridge or onto coming traffic. And once again, we go back to raising your plow up enough for the gap between the road and the bridge for we don't have any uh, physical or damage on the plow. When you approach a railroad crossing, it is the same theory of a bridge. You must raise your plow enough for you don't catch the bottom of the plow. And once again, please slow the vehicle down. When you get through it, 
keep salting even on the railroad crossings. The goal of YEC is to make sure all roads are 100% clear. The state will recommend how much salt to use. Normally it's 250 pounds per road mile. Unless you're instructed otherwise, we always use 250 pounds. If it gets very cold, they will tell us to use calcium chloride, which our trucks are set up to do, and that's our pre-wet. We want to end up with a clear road, shoulders got to be pushed back, and turn lanes before we're done plowing snow. There is several places in the state where there will be tandem plowing, where they've got barrier walls, and you've got to push all the snow to the right side of the shoulder. If you're involved in an accident, you must call and get a police report because even the minor of accidents can turn into a major accident if we don't have a police report. If it's a bad accident, call an ambulance, call 911, call the state barn and let them know you're in an accident, and then call the YEC team to let them know so we can do what we need to do to move on. If we have accidents, more than likely we'll have to have a drug screening just to protect you and all interested parties. Speed is the number one cause of an accident, so do not let traffic dictate your speed. Always be aware of your surroundings. At the end of the event, check in with the state worker, turn in all your paperwork, and let them know you are leaving. Because of COVID this year, we are not allowed in the state barn. We will check in with them and then go to your truck, do your walk around, pre uh, check, and then wait for further instructions. At the end of the evening, make sure that your state paperwork and YEC time cards match so you get paid properly. This next segment of our program are timesheets. All of our timesheets via state will be virtual this year due to COVID-19 as well. They are also located inside your yellow folder. Each time sheet must be filled out 100% correct, leaving no blanks, otherwise it will not be accepted. These must be completed at the end of each event, not before, not the next day, but at the end of each event. Once it's filled out, turn your time sheet in immediately to your team lead. Your team lead will turn in to me. Include any issues, repairs, or incidents that took place during your snow event on your timesheet as well. Please make sure that all of your handwriting is 100% legible. If you had any downtime, please also list where you were, the time, and why. Your team lead will arrive to each garage an hour prior to each event. Now would be the time to, in to ask any questions or concerns that you may have. If the timesheet you provide to us does not match the timesheet the state has provided to us, you must have pre-approved timesheets. Paychecks will be mailed out to each driver within 7 to 10 days after each snow event, unless you've chosen direct deposit, which will be an automatic deposit. The more availability you have, the more work you'll have. The more work you have, the more money you make. Please be ready, as the snow cannot predict the holidays, birthdays, and or family emergencies. The earlier you let your team lead know your availability, the better. On your salt usage, the 250 pound per road mile is recommended by the state. So we need to use that because using too much salt costs us all in tax dollars, Plus, the state is very upset when the road is white. It's not supposed to end up white when we're done spreading salt. On the shoulders, we do not spread salt because they're not worried about the shoulder being melted off. The salt off the road will go over there. Always follow the Kentucky DOT mandated state requirements. It is the driver's responsibility of how much salt is put on his truck. If you're running a tandem truck, once they put six scoops on, you're probably pretty much loaded. If you're running a single axle truck, a couple scoops to three max, and you will be loaded fully. When you come back to get loaded, you have to report to the state to tell them how much salt you've got before you go back out. Our spinner settings, we have one through 10, but normally our settings three and four is adequate to spread salt straight behind our trucks. If you have it too high, we will be producing too much salt and wasting it. At intersections, we do hit the blast button for maximum salt. Our focus is to distribute the salt to the high side of the road, normally the center. 
so that it drains to the edge. Uh, as we push the snow to the, salt, to the shoulders, we do not salt the shoulders. We do not salt dry pavement. When we get back to the barn, we unload the leftover salt at the salt domes and do not unload the leftover salt onto the roads. Keep saying about safety for we're not tearing up equipment or for none of our drivers get hurt. You all have CDLs, you know what I'm coming from. Please slow down and take your time. Once again, until you know your route and you feel comfortable driving one of the YEC plow trucks, time is essence. You know, we can't mess around, but we don't want anybody to get hurt. This video is just highlighting information to help you with this process. Always follow the instructions given to you by the Kentucky DOT state workers, please. Each truck will be provided with a fuel card. Make sure the gas station you've selected has diesel fuel prior to pulling in. Always keep all your receipts and turn in to your team lead at the end of every event and be sure to fuel completely full every four hours. Be aware that some trucks have two tanks on both sides, like our military trucks that have a switch. Abusing your YEC fuel card privileges will result in prosecution to the fullest extent of the law. If you have any questions on how to operate your fuel card properly, please call our home office. Each new driver with an active CDL must pass a pre-employment drug screen. Please review and sign YEC's drug and alcohol abuse policy. During your employment here at YEC, all drivers are subject to random drug screens. Per DOT clearinghouse rules and regulations, any refusal will be turned into DOT as a positive drug screen and could possibly affect you in the future. On our cutting edges on the snow plows, they're about, they start out at about eight inches. We need to be aware of this and check them periodically. And when they get down to about three inches, you need to notify the mechanic at the barn and we need to change these cutting edges. If we don't, it will destroy the plow. These cutting edges on these snow plows, when we are, when they're wore out and we're changing them, it's not considered downtime. So notify the barn and let's get this done. We will do a post inspection on your truck at the end of the shift. You need to make sure it's unloaded with salt. The state will pay us to unload salt that's on that truck. So please do not leave till your truck is unloaded. Do not clock out till your truck's unloaded and you're ready to leave the state barn. Walk around the truck and make sure there's no other issues with your truck that needs to be addressed before our next snow. You can turn in your list to your team leader at the barn and they will see that someone fixes any problem you've got with your truck before the next snow event. You got a master switch, light switches, radios, computers, make sure they're all turned off at the end of your shift so the batteries are not run down when we go back to the truck. Do not sign out till your truck is unloaded and parked. We've got a state two-way radio in your truck which will be on the state channel. The state periodically throughout the shift will possibly holler at you and ask you road conditions and different types of information they may need to know. We do not use it it's like a CB where we just chit chat on it. It is for state use only. So if you're not talking to the state barn, do not be on the state radio. The language needs to be proper language. Do not be cursing and other things on the radio. You can check with your barn supervisor to make sure you're on the proper channel before you leave the barn. The radio has a talk around channel is it, that says YEC or Youngblood talk around and that will talk truck to truck without having the state involved if you need to do that. We have to check in with the state barn every hour to make sure everything's going good. They require that, so be sure and check in every hour. Our home office is located on Pioneer Industrial Drive. As someone will always be available to help you 24 hours a day, seven days a week during our snow season. Our phone number is located on every truck. Any additional paperwork you have, please turn it in as soon as possible so we can get you on our payroll. Always remember, recruit, recruit, recruit. We hire drivers all year long. We get the best drivers through other drivers. Not to mention the $32.50 per hour pay rate. 
Guys, thanks so much for tuning in with us today, for watching our video, for taking heed to the words of encouragement that we have. We have 23 counties divided into five districts. Meet your mechanics and let it snow. Hi, I'm Lance. I work for YAC and I'm one of the mechanics. I'm happy for the snowplow season. Hi, I'm AJ, one of the mechanics here at YAC, excited for the snowplow season. I'm lucky. I'm excited for snow season. I'm John. I work here at YAC. I'm one of the mechanics. Excited to be ready for this new season.